Uh, Jason Wright from Essential Property Management in South Australia, uh, giving you an update. Um, our vacancy is still at 0.04%, so really tight market. Uh, still averaging somewhere around 80 to 100 inquiries for properties sub 500 per week, but more like 30 inquiries for properties over 500 a week, averaging about 30 applications. The interesting thing though, is I'm not seeing the market tighten up. What I am seeing though, is a diminishing in the quality of applications. So I think in the last three months, we've um, placed all the really high quality tenants and we've been in that fortunate position where we've not had to give the seven out of tens and the eight out of tens any consideration. Whereas now I'll be really thrilled if I get eight out of tens because I'm getting lots of three out of tens. Uh, that's the main difference. Uh, the other thing, I still have an overflow of investors wanting to enter into the South Australian market. Uh, but we, um, and thanks Ash for all those referrals you keep sending me, I really appreciate it. Um, but what I'm really seeing with that is we're just missing out on stock. You know, uh, the price guide, if it's 350 to 380, it's going 15% above the price guide. And even with cash unconditional, we're still missing out. Um, but we keep trying. Uh, I'm sending you to Tamika in Tasmania for her update. Thanks, Jason. I'm Tamika Smith from Key2 Property in Tasmania. Um, we predominantly work in the north of the state and we're finding that the vacancy rate is still about 0.3%, so really low. Um, what we're finding, three bedroom homes are averaging around $500 a week consistently. And within 24 hours of being on the market, we were receiving about 80 inquiries, which is really strong. And four bedroom homes are averaging about $600 per week. And we're finding within the 20, first 24 hours of marketing that we're getting about 30 inquiries. Um, most inquiries or a large percentage of inquiries are actually coming from interstate. So we've got a lot of people moving to Tassie um, and a lot in the health sector, which is fantastic for our landlords. In the north of the state, we've got about 400 registered tenants that are looking um, to rent within the next quarter and only about 200 properties available. So we're needing some investors to buy down here. And much to what Jason said, there's a lot of cashed up buyers wanting to buy here, but getting into the market um, is tricky, but the sales market here is starting to settle and we're averaging about a 5% return on investment here. So that's, that's really good for investors at the moment. Lease renewals are about a 95% renewal rate at the moment and averaging about a $40 per week increase up to $100 in some instances. So the north of the state in Tassie is really booming in a good place to invest. So over to Mel in Victoria. Thank you, Tamika. Hey there, guys. It's Melissa from Prime Residential, and I'm located in Victoria. So um, great news for, um, for Victoria at the moment. We are finding, um, similar to, um, to Tassie, we're actually getting quite a lot of people that are actually moving to Melbourne, which is really great because we've had such a hard slog for the last couple of years. So um, things are really looking up. Um, we are finding that there is definitely people moving here. We're leasing a lot of our properties on our videos really super quick. Um, um, we're renting properties um, in some areas in, in a couple of days. So that's something that we ha really haven't done for, for quite a long time. Um, the vacancy rate in our core area, which is the West, is around 3.2%. So that's still pretty consistent. It normally sits around about that or a little bit under. Um, the vacancy rate in the inner city of Melbourne sits currently at 5.7%. Uh, so that is really going great because I think last time we spoke, it was somewhere around the 8 or the 9%. So people are definitely moving back into the CBD. There's um, definitely having people sort of move there. There's students are coming back, which is great. Um, and the inquiry level has, um, has increased as well, which is really good. So we're finding um, that we are getting quite a lot of numbers to our properties at the moment. So um, for an example, I've got an inspection today. Um, we've got 20 people registered. So that's actually really high for us. We normally only have three to five people coming along. Um, 
So, yeah, really, really great news for, for Melbourne, which is really great. So, um, yeah, with our lease renewals, we are finding that a lot of our renters are staying on, which is really great. Um, as some of our owners are also um, pushing through rent increases, which they haven't done for quite some time. So um, even the inner city properties are getting slight increases, not too much, maybe 5 or $10 per week, but just trying to bring it up to, to a little bit um, of a higher standard so that we can, um, you know, hopefully in a couple of years, bring it back to sort of pre-COVID um, pre rent amounts. So that's about it from me in Victoria. Let's go to Ash in New South Wales. Over to you. Hi there, Ashley Merlo from the Property Collab. We're based in Sydney on the Northern Beaches and we service the Northern Beaches and Lower North Shore. So um, currently across Sydney at the moment, our vacancy rate is still um, consistently sitting at about one and a half percent. Personally on our portfolio, we still have 100% occupancy. So um, across the rental market, we've uh, typically got two markets. So we've got the housing market and the unit market. Um, the housing market is remaining incredibly strong and has been for the last six months. So typically we get anywhere between 15 to 20 people through our first open home for a, home, for a house. Um, and those properties are only lasting on the market for sort of one to two days. So anything, um, properties locally sitting anywhere between sort of $1,500 per week through to $2,500 per week, there really is a shortage in that price bracket. Um, and we are seeing elevated um, returns for those homes. In terms of apartments, we're getting really great numbers through our apartments. So still sitting up around that sort of 10 to 15 um, people through our inspections. However, it's age old supply and demand. So there is quite, um, there is still a, a bit of stock on the market when it comes to apartments. So tenants now have the ability to be able to pick and choose which one is the most suitable for them. Um, but with that being said, our apartments are still only sitting on the market for anywhere between sort of four to six days. So in the whole scheme of things, really not that long. Um, from a lease renewal perspective, we are seeing about 90% of our tenants continuing on. Um, that 10% bracket, they're either moving out of the area, so either um, further north, um, or we are finding that tenants are um, looking to upsize, so now looking for working from home capabilities. So with our rental increases, um, we are, again, it's reflective for the housing and for the unit market. So, um, you know, we've just released one of our properties, um, which had a 12% increase on the rent. I had another one that we took over from another agency that we leased, um, achieving a 26% increase on the rent for that one um, year on year. So it really is property specific. And we're finding locally that we do have a number of different micro markets, which are able to field and um, fetch different different returns. Um, in terms of um, the overall market, it's still going really, really strong. Um, and we expect that that will likely continue for the next, um, you know, for the next quarter at least. So um, similarly to some of the other states, um, there are investors out there in the market now looking to purchase, but they are struggling to get into the market, competing with those first home buyers and, and you know, people looking to downsize or upsize. Um, but if they can get their hands on one, we are able to get them a really great return locally. So um, looking forward to seeing hopefully some new investors come into the market because there's still um, that age old supply and demand issue for tenants locally with a lot of investors taking advantage of the strong sales market. Um, that's it from me today in New South Wales. So over to Rakaya in Queensland. Hello, my name is Rakaya. I'm from Locations Estate Agents here in Gladstone, Queensland. Um, over the past few weeks, I've noticed that a lot of four by two by two houses and townhouses are in a very strong um, demand. I've noticed the units have kind of slowed down a lot in the past few weeks. Um, over the Christmas period, units were extremely high, you know, at that 260 price range and they were going like wildfire. But yeah, I have noticed over the past few weeks, they've slowed down and the demand for houses and townhouses has increased a lot. As mentioned earlier, I've also noticed a decrease in the quality of applications that we are receiving. Although we are receiving a lot of applications, they're, they're not of the standard that we would like to have. Um, so, you know, there's only so much we can do. Um, our vacancy rate at the moment is 1.3%, which is quite good. Um, I've found also that a lot of people are moving interstate for work. Um, so people that are moving here are coming for work and people that are moving away are usually going for work. 
And I've also noticed that a lot of our rentals are going to the sales market at the moment. Um, that is causing a few issues, obviously, with our tenants having to move out with such short notice. Um, but we've also had over the past three weeks quite a few off-market tenancies um, trying to help out our tenants obviously get new properties. Um, so, yeah, I think that's pretty much all from me. Over to the Northern Territory. Hi, guys. Um, Joe here from Darwin, Northern Territory. I'm with Now Leasing NT. We are having a good January so far. The, um, the market has been pretty standard for our time of the year. The, um, sorry, two seconds. Um, the, the market across January is, is typically a, a bit hit and miss. The tenants can become in waves, they can come short and, short and sharp, but overall we've seen a, a decent sort of 10% increase in rent still nice and steady for the year. Um, new managements are still coming in thick and fast as well, especially from new investors. We are seeing a lot of um, older clients, so shift to the sales market, much like the Queensland market is seeing, um, which is stripping quite a bit of stock out of our stock levels. Um, overall, stock numbers are better than we've seen most of last year, but they are still probably about 50% down on what we would traditionally see pre-COVID levels. Um, inquiry numbers, though, are still really, really strong. We're still seeing inquiry numbers up sometimes near 100 per property um, and really struggling to get enough time to get everybody through, um, obviously still complying with COVID safety requirements. Um, lots of good applications, similar problem though to everybody else in that lots of low quality applications and the good ones are getting snapped up very, very quickly. Um, otherwise, just a pretty typical NT market, which sort of sits nice and steady this time of year. Um, over to Ash in WA. Hi, I'm Ashley Goodchild for Serco Realty in the Perth area and we service properties an hour south and an hour north and we are finding our vacancy rates still continuing to be low at around 0.7% and most properties are leasing out within one to two home opens. We still are seeing a few owners though trying to take advantage of the rental market and just had one recently where they threw on an extra $100 a week, I think it was, onto um, what the previous tenant it was paying and we've had zero inquiries on that property so it's really interesting to see that there's um this there's not a situation where we've got desperation in that someone's willing to overpay a hundred dollars a week for a property um, and I think that that's just something that tenants have learned in the last 12 months um, with the rents and they've educated themselves on that but the tenants that are looking at renting we've got obviously all the tenants that have been forced to find something because they are um, their owners are selling so that's quite a lot there um, the investors coming into Perth they it's really interesting they're still looking for they're getting a five to anywhere between five and seven percent um, return on their investment which is really great the lower end properties performing better than the higher end um, but we are seeing a couple of times where investors have put offers in on properties and the seller has chosen to go with a uh, first home buyer and they've put they would actually rather take less money from the first home buyer than sell to an investor who I guess they perceive is taking advantage of the rental market so that's really interesting to see um, the, the, the morality coming out of these sellers and what they're doing and um, the Low quality applications is absolutely still a thing. And I find that my, my theory is that if you were a landlord, you would most likely probably sell your property if it was causing a bit of a headache. And so therefore those tenants that have been in the properties could possibly, I'm not saying every time, but sometimes um, those tenants are the ones then coming into the rental market and they're the ones that have been a bit of a pain and that's why I think we're seeing that low quality. Uh, north of the river, a much higher demand and probably more desperation with wanting properties and that's families looking. And I think the sad thing for us is that we see we are seeing families that are offering more to get the property, but you can just tell they can't afford anymore. And so for us, we're very mindful that we don't want to accept something, like we don't want them to put themselves in a position 
where they're really, really going to struggle. So, so I guess um, trying to balance that is quite hard. Uh, rent lease renewals are probably twenty to forty dollars per week still, but apartments are a lot slower, and we are having to educate landlords of apartments that their property growth is not as strong as the houses that they're seeing. And sometimes they want a little bit more. So just a bit more education, I think, on the owner's front. Um, and then the other properties that are coming up are for rent are the ones where owners are upgrading their home. So we're not seeing any local investors still, but we're finding that, um, that what I call the accidental investor, which is the landlord who's decided to buy another property that um, suits them better for working from home, growing families, et cetera and then they rent out their existing home and take advantage of that rental market and the tenants that are looking. So that's good, but not a huge amount of change, but just slightly less chaos um, and desperation than maybe what we saw just before Christmas. And over to Corinne in Beanley, Queensland. Corinne from Red White in Bean Lee. Um, we look after Logan suburbs and surrounds. This is south of Brisbane. Um, we have been very lucky to have a vacancy rate of under 1% for the last probably say six months now. Um, we're still sitting at 0.5% and our inquiry is still extremely high on anything that comes on the market. We usually have about two to three properties available for rent at any given time. However, at the moment we have seen some new investors come into the market. So we have about six available. So um, the new investors that have recently come to the market um, have decided to purchase in more owner occupied suburbs, which means that they will also get a bit of a higher rent return anywhere between 500 to 550 per week. Um, and because these suburbs have little to nothing available to rent, the inquiry has just skyrocketed. So um, very popular suburbs at the moment include Mount Warren Park, um, Windaroo, and also Eden's Landing. So um, vacancy rate still very low, still little to no tenants moving out unless they really have to. Um, they are choosing to re-sign. Our owners have been conservative with not increasing the rent too high on their tenants, especially if they've been happy with them and they've been long-term. Um, however, we are still increasing nearly every lease that we do um, renew at the moment. So all is well here, guys. Um, hopefully the market stays strong and we can report back to you next month.